Hey guys, welcome back to Cruise Blog. It's Allie, and today I'm going to be sharing the best rooms on a cruise ship with deck, location, and category information for you so you can make the best choice when booking your next cruise vacation. Let's get into it. After you've picked the perfect cruise ship and itinerary, you will have to decide what stateroom you want to choose. From interior cabins with no windows to expansive suites that come with some pretty awesome perks, you'll be faced with a lot of different choices. Another decision you'll have to make is where you want your chosen stateroom to be located. Sometimes the decision is made for you, like if you want an apt facing balcony or a suite that's only available with a certain exclusive enclave. Ultimately, the best rooms on a cruise ship have to do with your personal preference. Do you want to be close to the elevators or a certain venue like the youth club or adults only pool? No matter what you're looking for, there is the perfect stateroom for you. So if you are looking for the best cabin location to avoid seasickness, you'll want to choose a low and midship cabin with a view. While seasickness is not as common as first time cruisers might think, if you're worried about feeling ill, you should choose a stateroom that is midship on a lower deck. As a ship rocks and rolls in the waves, it is the most stable at its lowest and most central point. You also want either access to fresh air or a window to look out at the horizon if you're prone to seasickness. This actually helps to regulate your brain. Because of this, it's advantageous to skip the inside cabins found on the lowest passenger decks and either choose the lowest, most central balcony or ocean view cabin that you can book. If you are looking for the best cabin for those who are balling on a budget, we suggest an interior cabin. Going on a cruise does not have to break the bank. In fact, it can be one of the most cost-effective vacations out there. You will have to manage your expectations though. One way to save money on a cruise is to book an interior room. These windowless cabins are some of the smallest accommodations available on board, meaning they are also the cheapest. Don't worry, they still come with all the same amenities as other standard cabins like ocean view and balcony rooms. You will have a bed, an in-suite bathroom, vanity area, a mini bar, and a television. With so many fun things to do on your cruise ship, you will not be spending any much time in your cabin anyways. If you would rather splurge on things like drink packages, shore excursions, Wi-Fi, specialty dining, and more, I suggest you go for the interior cabin and your wallet will thank you later. For those people looking for the best cabin location for the picture perfect ocean views, we suggest a higher deck. It's no surprise that most cruise ships place their swankiest cabins and suites on upper decks. You will enjoy amazing views of the ocean's horizon from your upper balcony or walls of windows. Plus, cabins on the upper deck are also convenient to many of the cruise ship attractions, including the pool, the buffet, the top deck, active pursuits like zip lines, rope courses and mini golf, and even the spa. Now, the best cabin for those who want easy access to fresh air. We suggest a balcony cabin. Balconies are the most popular cabin category on a cruise ship and for good reasons. You will always be seconds away from stepping outside and taking in the fresh ocean air on your own private veranda. Have you ever dreamed of having breakfast delivered straight to you to be enjoyed outside? It's one of those quintessential cruise things that are on so many people's bucket list. Plus, the extra space is great for families. You will always have a place to go so everyone is not tripping over each other while getting ready. While these rooms are a little bit more expensive, they are a justifiable splurge to many. Going on a cruise without a balcony just would not be the same for most people. Next, the best cabin location for spacious balconies and wake views, all the way at the back or aft of the ship. If you like big balconies, the best cabin for you is the back of the ship. Cruise fans go nuts for the wake view, even though technically you are looking backwards at where you have been rather than where you are headed. Still, there's something soothing about staring out to sea and watching the wake trail off in the distance. Cabins at the back of the ship are often less cookie cutter than those along the sides in order to accommodate the ship's superstructure. You'll often find oddly shaped or elongated cabins with extra large balconies. These rooms can be priced the same as regular balcony cabins though, so they give you more bang for your balcony buck. Some folks report that these cabins experience more ship vibration than others. Others claim they don't notice a difference though. In any case, be aware when booking that your aft cabin might be a little bit more rumbly. Next, the best cabin location for easy accessibility, and that would be by the elevators. If you have mobility issues, you should book a cabin by the elevator shafts. It can be a little noisier in these rooms given all the foot traffic, but you'll not have to trek down endless corridors to get to your cabin. To put that in perspective, Symphony of the Seas is as long as the Empire State Building is tall. 
minus the antenna. If your cabin is far from the elevators, it can be a very long walk back to your room at the end of the day. A convenient location by the elevators especially comes in handy when the seas are rough. A rolling ship makes walking tough for everybody. If you already struggle to get around, you don't wanna to have to walk long distances on a ship getting tossed around by the waves. The best cabin to elevate your cruising experience is a suite. Cruise ship suites are different than suites at standard hotels. On land, a suite usually just guarantees more space. Sometimes they can come with access to a concierge lounge, but usually not much more. Not only are cruise ship suites larger than other cabins, but they usually include a lot of amenities that help justify the cost. Depending on what ship and cruise line you book with, booking a suite might include a butler, access to special restaurants or lounges, concierge services, priority boarding, drink packages, included Wi-Fi, and more. The best suites are going to be found on the ships that have a ship within a ship concept, such as Norwegian Cruise Lines The Haven, MSC Cruises Yacht Club, and Celebrity Cruises The Retreat. With these, you'll gain access to exclusive enclaves available just for sweet guests. They're a great way to escape the normal crowds that you'll find on cruise ships. Thanks to the private sun deck, you will not have to worry about beating chair hogs on the pool deck. Plus, dinner will feel more intimate as you won't have to worry about eating in the ship's main dining room. Now, the best location for light sleepers, that would be sandwiched in between other cabin decks. Cabins right above or below public areas like the pool, the dining room, casino, bars, etc. can be louder than you would like at a particular time of the day. The rooms underneath the pool will hear the scrape of early morning deck chairs set up or the thumping vibrations of the late night parties. Rooms that are above the dining room or bars may hear the buzz of conversation or dining room song and dance showdowns. If you're a light sleeper, the best place for you to stay on a cruise ship is in a room surrounded by other cabins. That means that you have a cabin on either side of you and the cabin decks above and below you. While it's always possible to hear TV noises or crying babies in adjacent rooms, cabins are much quieter than public spaces on a cruise ship that get lots of foot traffic by passengers and crew. You should also try to book a cabin next to those that can only accommodate two guests. When selecting your room, cruise lines often provide a key to tell which staterooms can hold two, three, four, and even five guests. Even better, choose a room that does not connect to the cabin next door because these are less soundproof than staterooms without an extra door in the middle. Also, skip cabins all the way forward as these can be loud when the ship drops anchor at tender ports. Next, the best location for those who are always excited to see what's ahead, that would be the very front or forward of the ship. While you will not find any forward-facing balcony cabins, you can book an ocean view room that overlooks the front of the ship. These cabins are great for those who want to wake up and watch the ship pull into port from the comfort of their stateroom. Like aft balconies, these tend to be larger than standard ocean view rooms too. This is because the front of the ship is angled and the staterooms have been designed around that. With these though, it's important to warn you that these are prone to feeling more motion than cabins that are more centrally located. Moreover, they will be further from elevator banks, meaning that you'll have a longer walk to and from your stateroom. Of course, this is a minor thing for a lot of people and the spectacular view of the front of the ship make up for this inconvenience. Next, the best cabin location to maximize your fun or relaxing time on board, and that's near your happy place. When you cruise, where do you spend most of your time? If you have yet to cruise, where do you think that you'll be spending most of your time? Is it the spa, the pool, the casino, the adults only deck, the kids club, the gym? The best cruise cabin location for you might be the one with the shortest commute to your favorite happy place on board. If you're going to be playing poker every night till 2 a.m., maybe you choose a location that is a quick walk from the casino. If you want to sleep in as late as possible and still be the first person to snag a primo lounge chair at the pool deck, then pick a room on the Lido deck or one that's just a few steps away from the closet stairwell on the deck below. Do you want to roll out of bed and get breakfast? Well, then I would choose a cabin that is a deck or two away from the buffet or the main dining room. Spa cabins were designed to give spa lovers close proximity to their treasured thermal suite. Plus, they come with some pretty sweet spa amenities as well. So don't waste your time trekking down the hallways and waiting for the elevators. Position your home away from home to be as close as possible to your favorite onboard destination to maximize your vacation time. All right, everybody, those are the best rooms on a cruise ship that we'd recommend based on deck, location, and category. Comment below what your favorite stateroom category and location is on a cruise ship, and be sure to like and subscribe to Cruise Blog so you can be notified every time we have a new video. Thanks for tuning in today, everybody, and have a great day.